in this exercise we're given the loss landscape for a specific um, point which is the point we already used previously for six and our task here is to navigate a bit through uh, this space so let me demonstrate what what happens here so um, imagine we have a certain um, parameter set given for a model then our loss is supposed to indicate how well the line that is uh, implied by this parameter set fits our given point so what we have here on this axis is the first parameter here we have the second parameter and on this axis we can see the value of the loss function which means a higher value means a worse fit and a lower value or even a value of zero in this case means a perfect fit let's navigate this loss space now so the first thing we're supposed to do is we're supposed to find a certain location in this space which is given by values for w0 and w1 so we have a model that already has um, parameters which are in this case w0 equals 1 and w0 equals uh, w1 equals 2 and now um, yeah we're supposed to find them in this loss space over here and what we can do there is um, we can navigate this two-dimensional ground plane that's um, yeah really lying in here so we first find the value on this axis w0 equals 1 so this is over here uh, over here and w1 equals 2 this is over here and then we get the intersection of these two lines and this is our point w0 w1 in this case so but remember this is only in this ground plane over here when we want a three-dimensional coordinate we can also take this loss value into into account so we would have to calculate the um, yeah the loss value and then see how much we go up here um, yeah let's say it's over here so this would be the three-dimensional way of um, yeah highlighting this point and you can somehow imagine this point on the ground plane as the shadow of the point in the three-dimensional space on this loss curve but nevertheless um, yeah this is how to represent this value and what we now want to do is we want to draw the line of gradient descent and I defined this the following way w0 w1 minus eta times the partial derivatives so partial derivative of the loss with respect to the first parameter and partial derivative of the loss with respect to the second parameter for all values for eta of 0 until 0 0.03 so this is how I defined this line and the idea was yeah just connect the start and the end point so how do I get the start point well if we set eta to zero this whole term cancels out and we just get this w0 w1 which we drew over here already um, so what we can do now is we com can compute the value for our end point so we take um, this value for eta, fill it in here. This was done in the previous exercise. We can just fill it in again, fill in these values, and then we get um, yeah, 2D, coordin 2D coordinates, which we can again put in this ground plane over here. And I'll quickly switch to something where this is already present. So here we can see the line that connects these two points this is the start point that we got over here and this is the end point that we got yeah as the 2d coordinates here when we use this value and we can connect them to a straight line but we can also elevate them onto the 3d um, yeah plane that's or surface that's defined by the loss and we get a curve from this and this is the curve that our um, 
our loss will take during the gradient descent. And the intuition is that when we start here and roll down this hill of, uh, of gradients, um, then our, uh, our ball that we roll down there will always take the steepest um, descent. And this is also what we did here by computing the gradient. So we go into that direction, that's the steepest, and uh, this projection over here, down below, that's uh, the path that um, our parameters take. And um, yeah, if we were, for example, to use a different um, W0, W1 in the beginning, then we would start at a different location. And if we were to use a different eta, then yeah, we might actually use a different, um, different way or path but we always go into the direction of the steepest descent and go towards a smaller loss. And going towards a so smaller loss means fitting um, the model better to our given real-world data. And this is what we want every time we do machine learning.